Okay, so in today's video we're going to have a look at Venn diagrams. Uh, so grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, we're going to have a look at a couple of questions here. So this first one says, um, and, and to be honest before we start we need to have just have a look at this little symbol here. This just means the universal set, it just means all the numbers that are going to go inside this Venn diagram uh, somewhere in there. And in, in that it says all the odd numbers less than 30. So it might just give you the list of numbers, if it doesn't it's probably best just to write them all out and there's quite a lot of odd numbers between um, 1 and 30, less than 30. Um, so I'm not going to write them all out, but you could just go ahead and write them all out. 1, 3, in fact, let's just write them out. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, and the rest. Uh, now these are all the numbers that are going to go in the Venn diagram, uh, and they're only going to go in there once. Okay, so there's not going to be any repeats of these numbers, but they are all going to go in the Venn diagram. Now it says set A has got these numbers and set B has got these numbers. Now if it doesn't label the circles in the Venn diagram, just label them yourself. So we'll call this A and this one B. So having a look, now the first thing we want to identify is what can go in the crossover, the intersection there. So if we have a look in A and B, there is a 5 in both. So let's cross off the 5 and let's put that into the Venn diagram. And I'm also going to cross that off my main list up here as well, cross that off. So we're not going to put it in twice. Let's have a look. There's also 15 in both. So let's cross that off and we'll put that in the middle as well and then we'll cross that off the main list. So they, these are all the numbers that we've got left to put in a Venn diagram. There's, n there's none that are in A and B anymore, so all those numbers are in set A. I'm just going to put them in the A circle, so 9, 17, 21, and 29. We'll cross those all off and cross them off the main list, so 9, 17, 21, and 29. There we go, they're gone. And then 25 in B as well, so we'll put that one in there. Again, crossing it off both lists. So in terms of the numbers we have left, we've got um, the 1, we've got the 3, and I'm not going to circle them all, I'm just going to start putting them in because the others are crossed off. We've got 7, 11, 13, 19, 23, and 27. There we go. And that is our completed Venn diagram. Now we could be asked any sort of question on probability here, um, but I've put, oh, I've put a little selection in uh, down the bottom. It says a number is chosen at random, find the probability that is in set, and then we've got three questions to have a look at. So we've got two symbols that we need to know here. We've got the U, which is the union. And there we go, the union. We'll talk about that in a sec. And we've got the N, which is the intersection. There we go. And these little symbols can be replaced with some words if it helps. So the U for union, I replace with the word or. And the N for the intersection, I replace with the word and. And I quite like replacing it with the word and because the middle letter in and is N. So I always tend to remember the intersection there, the N is and. So let's have a look. The first one is U. So we've got A or B. So the numbers that are in A or B. And it is a probability, so we'll talk about writing it as a probability in a sec. But if we have a look at the numbers that are in A or B, well, we've got the 9, the 17, the 21, the 29, which is in A. We've got the 25, which is in B. And then we've also got the 5 and the 15, which is in A and B. So just because that's in both doesn't mean it's not in A or B. So in fact, finding the numbers that are in A or B is all of these numbers within the Venn diagram, okay? So they are all the numbers that are within the the Venn diagram then. If we count them up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers there. I'm going to get rid of that highlighter there, but we've got seven numbers. So let's write that down. We've got seven numbers that are in A or B out of a total. And again, you can count them all from the Venn diagram or from that list that I did at the top, but all the odd numbers between uh, 1 and 30. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. There you go. So it's 7 out of 15. So that word union, if you think about that as like the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, the union is the collection of all the countries there. And it's the same for the Venn diagram. It's the collection of everything within that sort of uh, that land there. If you kind of imagine it like a country, you've got the collection of all the numbers. So you've got 7 over 15, and that is the union of A and B. Now, if we have a look at the next one, so B, we've got A and B, or the intersection of A and B, which again can be replaced with the word and. So the numbers that are in A and B, well, there are only those two numbers that are in both A and B, the 5 and the 15. So that there is the intersection, the numbers that are in A and B. And if we write down the probability of that, that's two numbers out of, again, 15 numbers. There you go, so there's our two options there for the union or the intersection. Uh, I've also included this extra one here as well for C, which is A dash. Now if there's a dash with a letter, it means not in A. So all that little dash means is any of the numbers that are not in A. Now if you have a look at the numbers that are not in A, well, we've got the 25, which is in B, that's not in A. 
We've got all these numbers around the outside that are not in A, but none of the other numbers. So we've got the numbers which are just in A, the 9, the 17, the 21, the 29, and we've also got the numbers that are in A and B, the 5 and the 15, but they are also in A, so we can't have those ones. So we're just looking at the numbers that are in B and the numbers on the outside. So we've got one number in B, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers there in green around the outside. Eight plus one is nine, so there are nine numbers that are not in A, and again, that's out of 15, writing it as a probability. Right, there we go, so that's everything that you could be asked here on a, on a Venn diagram where you've got two circles. Let's have a look at one where you've got three. Okay, so something a little bit different here where we've got three circles. Uh, again, so we've got all the same sorts of symbols, but we've got A, B, and C to fill in here, and again, some probability questions. But it says here, the universal set here is the even numbers between one and 25. So if we write those down, we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. It's a bit annoying having to write all of these down, but and it's better just to write down these numbers and do this little easy task here than to miss some out and get it wrong just because you couldn't be bothered to write them down. So it's definitely worth writing them down. Let's have a look then. So finding what's in um, different you know, multiple categories to start with, it's quite hard to spot, but I can see there there's an eight in all of them. So if we cross off the eight and we'll put eight in the middle and we go and cross it off from our main list. Let's have a look, are there any others that are in all of them? No, if we do find one that's in all of them, we can obviously go back and sort that out, but there's none, none others that I can see. So let's have a look in A and B. In A and B, there's a 16 in both. So there's a 16 in A and B. So let's cross that off and A and B is this one here. So 16, let's cross that off the main list. Having another look, there is nothing else that's in A and B. So let's have a look at B and C. Numbers that are in B and C, there's a four there. That's quite a nice one to see. So in B and C, that's this crossover here. So four in the crossover of B and C. Let's have a look if there are any others. 12, 20, 24, no. The only one last one we need to check is are there any that are in A and C? And there is, there's a 20, there you go, so there's 20 in A and C. So we can put that one in there, 20 in A and C. Right, okay, there we go. We just need to cross those numbers off the main list again, which I forgot to do. So cross off the 20, cross off the four, and that's all of them there, one, two, three, four numbers, and they're all crossed off. Okay, so left in A is two, so we've got two left in A. Let's cross that off. We've got six left in B, and a 10, so six and 10. Let's cross that off the main list, six and 10. And then 12 and 24 to go into C. 12 and 24, again cross those off, 12 and 24, and then we've just got a few numbers left to go around the outside, so we've got 14 up here in the main list, 18 and 22, so 14, 18 and 22 go on the outside box there. Right, that's all the numbers put in, so again we've got some probabilities, so it says find the probability it's in A and B, okay, you can always write down the language there, A and B. That's the intersection of A and B. So what numbers are in A and B? Now this is going to be a little bit tricky here because A and B you might think is, let's have a look, this 16 here. But you've also got the 8. Now yes it's in C, but it is actually in A and B. Just because it's in C as well doesn't mean it's not in A and B. So we've got two numbers there that are in A and B. So as a probability here, let's have a look. That's going to be two numbers out of and again, just count how many are in that list at the top there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 2 out of 12. There you go. And you don't need to simplify these probabilities. It's fine to just to leave them there, even though that simplifies, simplifies to 1 sixth. We can just leave that as it is. So the next one, we've got a U. We've got B, U, C. So let's have a look. That's B or C. There you go. So any number as are in B or C. And if we have a look, let's see what's in B or C. We've got all these numbers here that are in C and all these numbers here that are in B. So yes, some of them are in A, but they are the numbers that are in B or C. Okay, it doesn't say it can't be in A, but they are the numbers that are in B or C. So if we count those up, there's one, two, three, four, five in C, and then an additional one, two, three that are just in B there. So five plus three is eight. So we've got eight numbers. Let's have a look, here we go. Eight numbers, again out of 12, and again, it doesn't need to simplify. Okay, so just watch out for those when you've got your three Venn diagrams there. Just It doesn't say that it can't be in A. So those numbers that are in B or C are all those numbers within the B and the C circle. And then the final one here, we've got C dash. Okay, so there we go, not in C. There we are. And let's have a look what numbers are not in C. So we can't have any of these five numbers, basically. So numbers that are not in C, we've got the two, the 16, the six, the 10, None of those numbers left in the Venn diagram there because they're all in C. And then we've got the one, two, three numbers on the outside. So our probability there will be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers out of 12. 
There you go. So you just gotta be very, very careful with these. Okay, I've got a couple for you to have a go at, so I'm gonna open these on the screen now. Okay, so there's two questions there, very similar in the way that they look to the two that I've just gone over, obviously different numbers in the actual sets, but have a go at those, um, fill them all in, and then have a look at the probability questions. Just remember the N is and, the U, the union is or, and if there's a little dash next to the letter, it just means not in that number. So anything that's, however many numbers are not in A or B or C, whichever it is, okay? So pause the video there, have a go, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, look at the answers then. So for this first one, let's start putting the numbers in, even numbers less than 30. Um, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna write them all down because there's a lot of uh, space here, but let's just have a look. Uh, it's quite small, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Okay, right, so if we have a look at this one then, even numbers less than 30, let's label this A and B to start with, and let's just write those numbers down. So two, four, six, eight, 10. And let's just start writing them in. Okay, so if we have a look at the numbers in A and B, we just need to think which numbers there are going to be in both. And let's think, we have 4, 6, 10, 16, 18, 22. Oh, well, there no, are there no numbers in both? Let's have a look. Oh, there we go, there's a 16 in both. Let's cross that off and stick them in the middle then. I'm just about gonna be able to fit this in. There goes, finish off this list. 26, 28, and well, that doesn't look like a two. Right, so, um, gotta be careful with this. It does say even numbers less than 30, so that won't include 30, okay? Well, it doesn't say up to 30 or including 30, it says less than 30, so I'm gonna stop at 28 there. Now we've got 16 in our intersection, so we can cross that off. Let's get rid of it from the main list. And now we just need to put all the other numbers in. There's quite a lot here. So we've got four, six, ah, there we go, six is in both. Let's just get rid of that. So four's in there, six is in the middle. And there we go, let's cross six off. And then on the A circle, we have four, 10, 18, 22, 26, 28. It's a bit of a squeeze there. Let's cross those all off. Four, 10, 18, where's 22? 22, 26, and 28. And then we can look at set B. So in set B, there is an eight, a 12, a 14, and a 24. The good thing about crossing them all off the list is if you do do double one up here and you forget that it goes in the middle, you'll notice you've already crossed it off. So let's have a look. Eight, we haven't crossed off. So 12, 14, and 24 at the end there. Brilliant, that's our Venn diagram filled in. And let's just put the other numbers around the outside. So there's two and 20. And is that all of them? Two and 20. It looks like every number's crossed off there, so that's all of them. There we go, so we've got 16 and six in the intersection. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in A, one, two, three, four numbers in B, and two on the outside. Let's add those up. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers, and just double check from your list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers there, so it all matches up. So the probabilities we've got, we've got A and B, the intersection of A and B. So the numbers that are in A and B, we've got 16 and six there. So we've got two numbers out of the 14 numbers that we just counted, so two out of 14 for A and B. And then the numbers that are not in B, uh, so none of those numbers in B there, let's have a look. So that is gonna be, and if we use a different color here, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight numbers, again, out of 14 that are not in B. Those numbers are either just in A or on the outside. So eight out of 14. Let's have a look at the other one. There we go, right, so odd numbers between one and 25 in this Venn diagram. So odd numbers between one and 25, we've got one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13. This is gonna include uh, 25 as well. It doesn't say less than 25, so it'll include 25. So we'll go 23 and 25 will be our last number. There we go. So in A, it says three, five, okay, like, well, we need to find what goes in the middle. So it looks like there's a five in all of them. So let's get rid of the five and stick that in the middle. And let's start crossing these off our main list. There we go. Any more that are in all of them? There's 15 I can see in A and B. There's not 11 in either of them. Okay, no. So there's nothing left to go into all of them. So in A and B, let's have a look. Um, in A and B, there is not a three, not a nine. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing that's in A and B. No, A's got a nine, a 15 and a 21. So nothing that goes into the A and B of this list little crossover here. So that's gonna be left empty. 
So we can get rid of that, that's going to be empty. So in B and C, let's have a look. There is nothing in B and C either. There's an 11 and a 23 in B, but nothing in there. And let's have a look in A and C, there is a 15. There we go, so in A and C, we can put 15 in, cross that off, cross it off our main list. So in A, we've got 3, 9 and 21, which is definitely not in any of the others. So 3, 9 and 21, cross that off the main list, 3, 9, 21. In B, there is 11 and 23. There we go, 11 and 23. Cross those off the main list. And then in C, there's 7 and 19. So 7 and 19. And again, cross those off the main list. And what's left over, we can stick around the outside. So if we put those into the outside, what have we got left? 1, 13, 17 and 25. That are going to go around the outside. Let's cross those off, make sure they're all gone. 1, 13, 17, and 25, brilliant. So in our list, how many numbers did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers. We can always write that down, 13 numbers. That'll be for our probabilities. And just count them in the Venn diagram. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, perfect. There's 13 numbers in the Venn diagram, which is what we needed. So our first probability here, we've got uh, a number is chosen at random. Find the probabilities in A and C. So the numbers are in A and C. Let's have a look, let's highlight these. We've got the 15, which is in A and C, and we've got the 5, which is in A and C there as well. So we have two numbers out of which the 13 that we've already counted, so 2 out of 13 are in A and in C. Now the next one, numbers are in B or C. So it doesn't explicitly say um, just in the crossover, not in the intersection, but numbers are in B or they're in C. So we've got 11, 23, and 5 that are in B and we've got 15, 7, and 19 that are in C. So if we count those up, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers that are in B or in C, and again, that's gonna be out of 13. Right, there we go, there's our probabilities, okay? Right, that is the end of this video for Venn diagrams then. Um, so ho hopefully you found that useful. I'm gonna make another video going over some harder Venn diagrams where you've gotta actually start thinking about doing a little bit of um, sums to get your numbers into the Venn diagram, so I'll be making that video soon. But that there is just a, a little overview of some of the set theory and looking at the intersection and the union and, and just making sure that you put, put your numbers in carefully. But there we go, hope you enjoyed that, hope it was useful. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.